the thing that's different from back then from today is like the fact that our technology is way different and the way like we convict people and how we gather evidence and all that other stuff that's way different we have um a lot more protocols put in place so things like that won't happen you know but then i think of sandra bland oh my gosh oh my gosh i completely forgot about that It's also kind of weird that there weren't any cameras where she was. Because it's like, you're in a county jail, there should be cameras everywhere just in case something weird happens or something like that. And you have no evidence of what happened. That's kind of fishy to me. You know, a camera isn't always going to be playing when something's happening. A camera, there's going to always be a blind spot in those cameras. That's sometimes, technology doesn't always help sometimes. There were guards, you know, there were jailers who were walking past the cell of Charles Oatman and the four other people who were in the cell with him. Oh. So, like, they just kept walking, like, knowing what was happening? Remember, it was a jail that was built for 50 people, and there were 150 <clears throat> people. Oh. And that's kind of, that, that just makes it... Even more suspicious about like. So they just walk really by, hearing all that like suffering and stuff. They just exactly. walk by it all. I couldn't ever, that's even if I didn't, suspicious. even if I was like in their place, like as like horrible in the head as them, I still couldn't like stand that. Oh yeah, that would like well, break me. But you also gotta think their position. Maybe they they have to do that, like. Have to walk by somebody getting murdered? Yeah. I don't know. They it's, can't. They they can't just like keep walking just, by the cell, that, hearing them scream and job. all that. It's their job yeah. to make sure that no prisoners die. Mm. It's their job to keep the prisoners safe, and make sure that all parties stay until they are due to be released or they are due to be on trial. It's a case of people, individual people with biases and and uh, high parts in the law enforcement basically calling the shots, like Charles Oatman and Sandra Bland. It's a case of people being like, 
they don't really care about and don't really do anything about and just put them aside and... When you say people, you mean like the public at large? Most, well... Like, like nobody really cared what happened to Sandra Bland or do you mean people like... Those, the in, law enforcement oh, okay. and like the judges and the people who were actually doing, supposed to be like doing something about this and it's kind of like this one cop is kind of maybe he's a little bad in the head or whatever and and he's just not thinking right but he did this and affected someone's life because either he has a bias or he's just not thinking right at that time I mean, I think the Charles Oatman thing could have happened, like, to this day. Because then again, you still have people who just don't care. Like, whatever's happening, they don't feel like it's any of their business because it's not them or it has nothing to do with them or, like, it's not affecting them. But, yeah, it could have happened today, but I don't. it might have been stopped because, I mean, we have, like, better... Like, we were talking about technology and stuff and, like, cameras and all that. But I think it would have been stopped if it happened today. But then again, it could have still happened. Hmm. Could that? I I think the Sandra Bland thing could have happened back in the 70s, but Charles Oatman, no. Like, he wouldn't, that wouldn't be. happen today? To, no. Like, they that wouldn't have happened because I do recall you saying that he um disabled. So there are laws and stuff in place to keep stuff like that from happening. Like Hold up a second. What I'm asking is not could Charles Oatman could it have tried gone? it. Well, Could it asking, have happened? Okay. Could Charles Oatman's situation where he gets put in a jail with adults, even though he's not an adult, Mm-mm. and beaten oh, to death, no. and, and then the police say, oh, he just fell off of his bunk. No. That couldn't happen today. No, it could not. Because, you know, there are, I, I've just seen it in TV shows and stuff like that. There are separate holding shows, cells for people who are over the age of 18 and who are under the age of 18. Like, they're minors. So you get put somewhere else and not like, whoa, and not like with the general consensus of people. I hate to tell you this, but there actually was a place for youth to stay. He should have been in the Youth Development Center. Yeah, that definitely couldn't have happened today. Yeah, so apparently, like, behind us um, was a department store and a liquor store. Like, where the... The funeral home is? Uh-huh. The department store was set on fire. Huh. So the liquor store, was the liquor store also burnt down, or was it just... I think it was just rancid. Hmm. Just kind of having that visual of what used to be. I don't know why I would have said something like that. Probably because I couldn't foresee something like this happening. Just the blatant disrespect for humanity. Like... I don't, it just, it baffles me because I'm like, wow, I really, I really had that much trust in, you know, our federal system to where they wouldn't purposely want to harm us and just disregard us as human beings. But now it's like, oh, I see how you really are. Y'all had me fooled. Like, wow. 
that's interesting. What changed? I would probably say this situ- this entire situation, the quarantine, all that stuff, changes my perspective entirely, and it just it made me more cautious when I go outside, who I'm around, when I'm walking down the street, my friends walking down the street, like. I hate having to fear for my own friends' lives like that, and even my own, and my own families.